So first you have to find the row reduction and column reduction. So if you get two zeros, you just skip that row. If you get one zero, you just put a square box around that zero and put a vertical line. By using this row reduction, we can find the column reduction. So in first column, the least value is one. So number of square marks should be equal to number of rows. Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to my new session. I'm Shweta, Computer Science faculty. So today I'm explaining some other important problems on traveling salesman method. So first problem in traveling salesman, I have number of rows and columns and all the diagonal matrix values are zero here. So first you have to find the row reduction and column reduction. So first find out the row reduction values. So least value is 4. 7 minus 4, 6 minus 4, 8 minus 4, 4 minus 4. And in second row, the least value is 5. 7 minus 5, 8 minus 5, 5 minus 5, 6 minus 5. In third row, the least value is 6. So 6 minus 6 is 0, 8 minus 6, 9 minus 6, 7 minus 6 is 1. And in fourth row, the least value is 5. Subtract with the other value, 8 minus 5, 5 minus 5 is 0. And 9 minus 5, 8 minus 5 is 3. And in the last row, the least value is 4, 0, 2, 2 and 8 minus 4 is 4. So now row reduction has finished. The next step is column reduction. With the help of this row reduction matrix values, we can find the column reduction matrix values. So my dear students, those who have studied assignment problem using Hungarian method, they can easily solve the traveling salesman problem. First, you have to practice the assignment method using Hungarian method. So same method we are applying in traveling salesman also, but here we have to add some extra conditions. So next is column reduction. So in first column, the least value is zero, except the diagonal values, you have to consider the least value. So you will get the same value, two, zero, three, and zero. And in the second column, the least value is again zero. So three, two, zero, and two. And in the third column, the least value is two. 2 minus 2, 3 minus 2, 4 minus 2, 2 minus 2. And in the fourth column, again the least value 0, 4, 0, 3 and 4. In last column, the least value is 0, 0, 1, 1 and 3. So now row reduction and column reduction also completed. So what is the next step? So in next step, we have to assign the zero. With the help of this column reduction matrix values, we have to assign the zeros by using row scanning and column scanning method. So next I will assign the zero by using row scanning. So first I will find out row scanning. So in row scanning, we have to consider the zeros in every rows. So if you get two zeros, you just skip that row. If you get one zero, you just put a square box around that zero and put a vertical line. And in third row, I have one zero. Except this diagonal matrix elements, you can consider the least value. If you get one zero, put a square box and vertical line. And in fourth row, I have one zero, put a vertical line. And in fifth row, no zeros because one zero also get cancelled. So next I will find out the column scanning. So in first column, all the values are deleted. Second column also deleted. Third column, I assigned the zero and put a horizontal line. And in fourth column, deleted. And fifth column, there is no zero. So now we have to cross verify whether it is satisfying the optimality condition or not. Here. The number of square mark is equal to 4. 
number of square mark is equal to 4 and the number of rows are 5. Number of rows is equal to 5. Is this equal? So no, it is not a equal. So 4 is not equal to 5. It is not satisfying the optimality condition. If it is not satisfying, we can go for next step. So what is the next step? So among the undeleted cell values, we have to take the least cell value. So least value is 1. So subtract that value, the same value. So 1 minus 1, 0. So 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1. And 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 2. So other values are 0. But accept this common value for both horizontal and vertical line. So you just add that value 3 plus 1 it is 4, 0 is same, 4 plus 1 it is 5, 0, 3 and 4 and the remaining values are same 2, 0, 3, 0 and 0, 2, 0, 2. So the remaining values are same here. Now you can assign the zeros by using diagonal selection. So I will assign this 0, this will get cancelled, I will assign this 0 this 0 will get cancelled and also this column 0 will get cancelled and in third row I will assign this 0, this 0 will get cancelled and in fourth row I will assign this 0 and in fifth row I have assigned this 0. So now you can cross verify whether it is satisfying the optimality condition or not. So number of square marks should be equal to number of rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 equals number of rows also 5. So now it is satisfying the optimality condition and next we have to check the assignment. So assignment is he visits from A to C, A to C, C to E and E to A. So again he returns back to the same point without visiting other cities. So B to D and D to B. He has not visited these cities. Directly he visited from A to C, C to E and E to A. So now it is not satisfying the traveling salesman problem condition. So what is the next step? So here again I have to modify this assignment. So now I will modify the assignment First, I will write the matrix value 0, 4, 0, 5 and 0, 2, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 2, 0, 3 and 0, 3, 0, 1, 0 and 2. Again, 0, 2, 0, 4 and 0. So now, in previous matrix representation, I have assigned this 0. If you assign this 0, so the condition will not satisfy. So again, I am taking the next least value. So in first row, the next least value is 4. I will assign this as an assignment. So I can cancel this two zeros. And so the diagonal matrix representations are 0. No need to take this. So in second assignment, so same assignment I will do, can cancel this 0. And in third row again I will assign the same 0. And in fourth row I can't assign this 0 because already over that I have assigned this 4 as assignment. So now I can't assign this 0. So next I will consider the next least value it is 1. I will assign this 1 as assignment and in fifth column I will assign this 0 as a assignment. So now you can cross verify whether it is satisfying the traveling salesman problem condition. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 assignments. So he travels from A to B, B to B to D and D to C, C to E and E to A. So now it's satisfying the traveling salesman condition. So now you can find out 
the transportation cost. So it is very simple concept already have discussed so many problems right. So please practice this problems also. The next last problem in traveling salesman method. So this is your last problem. So in this problem you have four number of rows and four number of columns. Here first step is row minima and the second step is column minima. So first step row minima in first row consider the least value. The least value is 16. So 46 minus 16 is 30. 16 minus 16 is 0. So 40 minus 16 is 24. And the next least value in second row is, it is 40, 1 and 10 and 0. In third row, the least value is 32. 82 minus 32, it is 50. 32 minus 32, 0. 60 minus 32, it is 28. The least value in the last row is 36. So 40 minus 36, 4, 4 and 0. So now by using this row reduction, we can find the column reduction. So in first column, the least value is 1, 0, 49 and 3. In the second column, the least value is 0. You will get the same value. In third column, least value is 0, 10 and 0. In fourth column, the least value is 0. You will get the same value. Now after this column minima, we can find, we can assign the zeros by using row scanning and column scanning. So now I will assign the zeros by using row scanning and column scanning method. So row scanning, in first row I have one zero, assign the zero, put a vertical line. And in second row I have two zero, just skip that row. And in third row one zero, put a vertical line. In fourth row, no zeros. Now I will find the column scanning. So in first column one zero, put a horizontal line. And in second column cancel, third column cancel, in fourth column no zeros. So now you can cross verify whether it is satisfying the optimality condition or not. The number of square mark is equal to square mark is equal to number of rows. So we have three zeros but the number of rows are 4. So it is not a equal, it is not satisfying the optimality condition. What is the next step? Among these undeleted cell values, we have to pick a least value. So least value is 3. So 49 minus 3, 46. 3 minus 3, 0. The remaining values are same. Remaining values are same. And 28 minus 3, 25. And remaining values are same except this common for both vertical and horizontal point. 10 plus 3 is 13, 0. And 24 minus 3 is 21. The remainings are same. So now I can assign the zeros. So in first row I have one zero. I have put a square box around that zero. And now I will select the diagonal value and you can cancel this zero. And in third row, I have one zero, assigned this zero. And fourth row, I have assigned this zero. So now, you have to check whether it is satisfying the optimality condition. The number of square marked is equal to 4. And the number of rows is equal to 4. So it is satisfying the condition. So next is assignment. So optimal assignment are A to C. And C to B and B to D and D to K. And also you can cross verify whether it is satisfying the traveling salesman problem condition. Yes, it is satisfying the condition. He started his journey from point A and he travels each and every cities exactly once and it returns back to the same position. So now it's satisfying the traveling salesman condition. Find the total cost. So total cost is A to C. The virginal value of A to C is 16 plus C to B. C to B is 32 and B to D. 
B to D is 40 and D to A is 40 plus 40. So add all the values. The total cost is 128 kilometers. So this is about your traveling salesman problem. So I have explained so many problems. Please practice the problems. Understand the concept properly. So easily you can solve. So before doing this traveling salesman problem, you have to understand the concept of Hungarian method. Then only we can solve this traveling salesman problem. So first you have to practice the Hungarian method and then easily you can simplify the traveling salesman problem. And in traveling salesman problem, we have to apply the conditions. So first understand the conditions of traveling salesman problem also and easily you can simplify the traveling salesman. So with this we have end of this traveling salesman problem and in my next session I will discuss the new topic called sequencing. So sequencing of n jobs. Thank you.